And on joining us via phone this morning, it's the Lagos State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Omoto Show. Good morning to you, Benga. Good morning. And thank you for joining us on News on the Hour. Now, I just want to ask you, has there not been a move like this before by um, the former administration of Babatunde Fashola in the past? And why, is it, why was it discontinued? And now we're seeing a renaissance, as it were. Well, I don't know whether it was discontinued. All I know uh, is that truly there was a law that uh, regulates uh, uh, the operation of uh, motorcycles and uh, uh, all these uh, other guys, but that law was not, uh, maybe was not uh, obeyed. So it's not as if uh, the government abandoned it. The law was reviewed in 2018. No. Yeah. Okay. Now, most people would say we should address the root cause of the problem, not just the shoot. Now, Abhi Kekes and Okada has not been plugging a gap that undoubtedly exists in the transport sector. That you should address the root of the problem. Yes, please. What do they mean by the root of the problem? Well, that if there was if there was a better working transportation system, then the use of the Okada and Keke would not be an option. And right now, they seem to be bridging that gap because the transport system is not as adequate as it should be. Yeah, of course, the government is addressing the transportation problem. Okay. And uh, it's not as if uh, it's a, it has allowed Okada to just. Uh, uh, to to just uh, exist. It's just that, well, like you have said, conditions uh, brought to Okada. But then, you cannot say because you didn't address the root problem as they feel, and then you will allow this uh, licensing attitude to continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, but many people mm -hmm. have argued the fact that the ban seems to be so sudden, and if they go off the road come February 1, what, what are the measures in place to ensure that we don't have a total gridlock where people can't have enough um, transport to take them around their various places of commute? This is not the first time that uh, a government will say Okada should not operate at some places. And then, uh, I mean, there was no chaos. There was no problem. I mean, I'm, you're going to see that this time around too, there will be no problem. Because the, 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 we are looking at the larger picture. The, the danger that the Okada symbolizes is bigger than uh, the problem of uh, getting from one point to the other. Now, a major reason that was cited for enforcing this ban is the lawless conduct leading to accidents of the drivers of these vehicles. Can one solution mm. to the problem not to be to prosecute the offenders and ensure that they all go through a standardized road etiquette assessment? Of course, the law enforcement agencies should do their job. They have been duly informed. They were part of the decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please go ahead. I can hear you. Hello? Yes, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, but as it stands right now, what is in place by the Lagos State Government to ensure come February 1 that there will be adequate um, supply of transportation across Lagos? Because we can't deny the fact that Keke and uh, Okada, as it's, as it's called, they provide some kind of policy for whatever gap exists in the transport system in Lagos State. So come February 1, what are we expecting from the Lagos State government? Yeah, from February 1, what is going to happen is that, number one, there's going to be enforcement. And uh, like I said earlier uh, at some other uh, forum, uh, we have hundreds of buses at the post that we are clearing, and then some other things are coming in in terms of uh, taxi cabs and all that, that we are going to, even if they are not ready by February 1, they are on the way. And then apart from that, you know where the Okada people have been restricted. It's not as if there are no vehicles there. There are vehicles there. It's just that people prefer that they must go by Okada. They talk about uh, uh, congestion and all that, but they didn't think about the fact that Okada was part of this uh, congestion that we are talking about. Because they have created a kind of uh, mess on the road, they contribute to traffic uh, congestion. So it's not as if February 1, everything is going to break down. And like I said, by in early February, we are going to be commissioning these boats so that uh, we open up the waterways. 
people can travel from Ikurubi to Marina, from Marina to Mahetu. Yeah. So, question, so many yeah. things have been done. They may not happen immediately on February 1. But why the government is restricting or kind of banning them from a sun route is more important than even the idea of uh, people moving from one point to the other. Because now lives are being lost, eggs are being smashed, limbs are being broken. Okay, we, we, we recently we, we, we saw the, the, the organized or carter drivers such as the Go Carter. Um, mm -hmm. What will become of them? Well, Okada is Okada. Okada should go, not go on highway. They should not, uh, they should not go on bridges. They should not uh, carry more than uh, one passenger. And everything that uh, people are saying about Okada, what the law says, uh, restriction and all that, whether you are go Okada or go, come Okada, I mean, you have to obey. Now, could we liken, could we liken this ban to, to the shutting down of slums? Since both cases, we, we actually don't hear of alternative arrangements made for the displaced persons in advance of the enforcement. I didn't get that. Now, can we liken this? Can we liken this situation, the ban on Okada and Keke, like the shutting down of the, of the slums? Since in both cases, we actually don't hear of alternative arrangements made for the displaced persons in advance of the enforcement. Yeah, what we are saying is that uh, nobody, there is not going to be any shutdown anywhere. This is not something that has not been done before. It's, um, I mean, Lagos is not uh, expanding in terms of uh, land size. It's only population that is increasing. And uh, places where you have these Okada people, they, they, they are places where you have uh, low-income and, and all that. It's not as if uh, uh, we begin to talk about alternative and all that. Like I said, everything that the government has done is to protect uh, lives of uh, Lagosians. Those people are dying. And government is saying that, okay, the logical thing is to do is to provide an alternative before you put down the slave jam on uh, Okada. But you can't say because alternatives are not ready right now, People should continue to die, health should continue to be smashed, limbs should continue to be broken. So you, you do the thing, uh, party, party, the two will go together. You are working on alternatives and at the same time you say, hey, enough of this uh, lunacy. Now, okay. yeah, before I let you go this morning, what do we have to look forward to in the area of public transport systems? Now, we hear of the metro line and even railways. How soon will this come online and how accessible will they be for the common man? Of course, everything that we are going to do is going to be accessible by uh, uh, commoners. Like I have always said, Okada, Keke, and all such uh, stuff, they do not belong to the greater Lagos uh, journey that on which uh, we have a back. They do not belong to the smart city that we are trying to build. Like I said, there are hundreds of buses at the port here in Lagos that we are trying to clear. We will clear them. And then there will be some other means of transportation that are coming on board. And all of these are going to be accessible to the common man. And, you know, people talk about investments and all that. Look at the blue rail line. It's on. The work is on. The plan of the government is that by this time next year, it will be just run. And the, the, the work is going on there. It's going to be running from uh, Marina to Kukumaiko to Maitu, where the masses of our people stay. And of course, it's not going to be uh, expensive for people to, to do. The blue line that is going to join the red line, contractors are bidding for it. About uh, over 20 of them have been selected for the next stage of the bidding. And then the Fort Milan Bridge, contractors are bidding for that too. Over 20 of them too have been selected to come and build the Fort Milan Bridge. So, I mean, it's not as if everything is uh, static. No, the government is moving, it's dynamic about its vision on transportation, and it's going to deliver. But the Okada thing, what has happened is that you cannot say because these are long term projects that will be of a great benefit to the people and then you have not carried them out, then you allow Okada to have this license fee attitude and be running roughshod over the whole place and turning this, the, the Lagos into an illegal community. No. 
So now for information and strategy, Lagos State, Bengal Motor Show, thank you very much for your contribution and news on the hour this morning. Thank you so much.